Hi guys, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some um, trackpad editing tips, gestures that come with iOS 9. Uh, they're very handy if you find yourself typing up articles or papers or whatever uh, on an iPad. So right now I've got some text up on the screen. It's in the Notes app. And this will work anywhere as long as you're in some app that you know has text and there's a blinking cursor right there at volume at the end of the first paragraph so if you take I think this is the most widely known but if you take two fingers then you can move that cursor around with a trackpad you'll see the uh, keyboard will kind of go gray and you can just move that around it was uh, very difficult to put the cursor right in side of some word at some key position before directly from your finger but now you can do that pretty easy another thing you can do is if you just touch the keypad with two fingers and instead of moving immediately and just hold your fingers and just pause a little bit then you get those handlebars and you can drag those handles pretty easy um, so you can get some very customized text selections doing that. Now if I release the screen and then I go back and do that again, if I start dragging immediately, I'm going to change the last one that I moved. But if I touch the screen and just pause a little bit and wait, now I can even go back and change the previous one or the last one. It kind of treats that it kind of remembers what was selected because you've paused. So, um, so if you need to, you know, go in the other direction, just release and then go back and then just pause, and then you can go back in the other direction and get a very customized text selection. Now, again, just double tap and you can, um, you know, deselect that text. Now if you take two fingers with nothing selected and just tap once, you get the closest word, clear that. A two tap with two fingers, we'll get the closest sentence. And then a three tap with two fingers with nothing selected, we'll get the closest paragraph. Again, if that's not the boundary that you really wanted, you can just touch with two fingers and pause and then you can change um, to extend either before or aft of that. Once something's selected, you can do all the things that you normally can do. You can, um, you can cut, you can paste, you can just start typing um, let's say that's not the paragraph you want you want to reword it and you can just delete it by just starting to type a new paragraph you can do all the normal things that you can do with text being selected so this see there I didn't take care to make sure that I touched exactly with two fingers so let me clear that there you go it takes a little bit of care a little bit of getting used to but um, but it can save you a lot of time and it will even work like the whole time I've had a Bluetooth wireless keyboard connected and um, I was just displaying that with the um, with the eject button on the keypad it will even work with a Bluetooth keyboard as long as you just do it in the area well I think you can just do it anywhere on the screen So it'll work either from the virtual keyboard or from a physical Bluetooth keyboard connected. All right, I hope that helps, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed that, and uh, hope, hopefully it's very beneficial. Thanks for watching.